Hi, John with eTrailer. If you are looking for a quick, easy way to add trailer light wiring to your Kia Carnival, look no further. This is the Kurt T-Connect vehicle wiring kit that we installed on our 2024 Kia Carnival. Now this kit is going to give you your basic lighting functions and that's in the form of a four-way flat. Now this is one of the most popular connectors um, for light duty towing and then accessories that are lighted like some of your bike racks and some of your cargo carriers. Uh, this is going to give you the basic lighting functions. You're going to have left and right turn signal, stop lights, and tail lights. Now this Kurt kit isn't just splicing into your existing wiring. This is a connector kit and it is a powered module. It's a powered converter box. What does that mean for you? Uh, basically it means that the sensitive electronics on your Kia are protected in the event that there's a catastrophic failure um, with one of your lighting systems and if you have a short to ground you can rest assured knowing your Kia is safe. If you're thinking about trailer wiring and your van is equipped like it needs to be to accept this kit, don't pay somebody to do it. We're going to show you how to do it right now. Now to begin the easiest trailer wiring in the history of Kia Carnivals, get a pick or a small screwdriver. We're going to take out these fasteners back here. We're going to have six total that are holding this plastic piece. Now this piece you can just set off to the side and if you look up the outer fender well, I've actually got the connector that we're looking at. I have that marked with the blue tape and the arrow. At the edge of that, you're going to have a dust cap that we need to remove. Just pinch the edge over here and pull back. Now take your connector and locate the locking tab on there. And keep in mind, this is the edge that's going to be facing us when you go to hook that back up. Just line it up and push it in until it snaps. Now as far as mounting options go, you do want to keep your fuse holder fairly handy just in case down the road you pop a fuse. But um, your kit's going to come with a self-tapping screw if you like. I think there's enough webbing back here on this plastic. Um, your kit also comes with a bunch of zip ties and this unit is weatherproof, waterproof, so um, any way that you can get this mounted securely so it doesn't rattle around in here is the best way. Zip ties in this instance are going to be perfect. So I have ours secured uh, with a couple of zip ties. You got a longer one that comes in your kit and that's what I use for the converter box and then just tie these wires together. Now I have it facing towards the rear. This is going to give us a little bit more room for our four-way flat and I found that if you come around out here at the edge of the trim, just kind of tuck this down. We're going to have a nice clean path to get to our hitch to where we can store the wiring. And feel free to tie off with some more zip ties to keep this from coming down. Um, but otherwise, this is going to work just great for us. And before we replace the plastic panel, Take the 15 amp fuse that comes in your kit, insert that in the fuse holder, place the cap on. Now we can reinstall our plastic panel. Make sure you tuck the edges in on the back and the front. Now one of the last things that I like to do is test our connector, make sure all of our lighting functions are working normally. So I'll apply the brakes, I'll apply uh, the headlights, make sure our running lights are working. We'll go left turn, right turn, and right turn with brake. So with all of our functions working properly, we can confidently hit the road. This is the Kurt T-Connect vehicle wiring kit that we installed on our 2024 Kia Carnival.